All right, guys, I've been trying to sidestep a lot of the COVID and Brexit and Trump and because it's everywhere. <laughs> but I thought a lot of it's coming to the end now, so I'll throw my little thoughts into, into the mix. See, the Brexit, I think, was always a no deal from Boris's point of view. I mean, if I look at the way that he's handled the COVID case, I would just say the guy doesn't seem to know what he's doing. Um, but is that done on purpose? I think he was a bumbling individual since day one. I mean, um, I think it's Channel 4's gone about the making of Boris. There's a, a bit of a docu thing. I know Channel 4's a bit, a bit like that on its politics. But the manipulation and the way he, um, I think it was at Oxford Union, he um, did a fair bit of manipulation uh, to get elected. But I'm not going to talk about it too much. You can have a look at that yourself. But the point is, it's standard politics these days. It just seems there's so much lying to your face and behind your back, people are doing the complete opposite. And I don't think his persona is as stupid as he looks. Um, I would say that's the way he is on the surface of the personal person in my personal view but the point of getting to there the manipulation and all that all that stuff has been something in the making for some time that's that's a, um it's not a case of he's like that all the time it's very very focused um and thought out on the surface he seems like a bumbling idiot because quite simply in my personal view is he is on a one-to-one -one. I, I would say he probably is on a one-to-one -one. but if you give a guy time to think about it and know something he isn't smart about you'll research it and he'll manipulate it and he'll get to the point he wants to that's the sort of person i think boris is um so don't just assume because he appears one way that is like these videos it's live it's instant it's it's as I'm saying it, but if I sat and researched it and edited and paid a bit of money for somebody to do my editing and putting in intros and all that, you get a different build up to it. You get a different outcome. It looks more focused and more um, professional. But I think that's Boris. I think Boris just does that as is that's what you see on the surface but a lot of this stuff goes on behind closed doors it's 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 staged and built up and the stuff around when he was in oxford is very much like that um there's a documentary on channel four i think it's called the making of boris maybe worth having a look for it. it might be on youtube somewhere um sort of covers some of the ways on how he went through one of his election processes during the university by promising the earth to everybody but engage with them individually it's uh it's very manipulative it's very common these days and it's probably when where trust died <laughs> 2020 the year of trust died um so i think that's boris i really do i think dominic cummings come in the background from somewhere else i think it was more a case of um he he was putting things together because there's a load of connections there and I'll, I'll probably end up with my video pull off YouTube and start connecting dots. Um, but Dominic Cummings isn't just an advisor to Boris, in my personal opinion. I think he has some other backers himself. I think he's um, not as far in the background as he appears. And I know there's obviously a lot of manipulation about when he gets involved in the uh, advisory group for this uh um kobe crisis <laughs> i i just think as a group of spin doctors i don't actually take it from a scientific perspective at all in my personal opinion because uh, you often find that their alleged facts get corrected shortly afterwards but it's normally after something's happened you know like lockdown two or lockdown one um the whole thing about the oh it's to protect the NHS at the same time sacrificing um, care homes and nursing homes and sending out do not resuscitate notices prior prior 
to the COVID reaching a critical point. That was their first thoughts. It wasn't lock them down, keep people away. It was lock them. Uh, it was do not resuscitate, let them die, and I, that was it. <laughs> um, these are the people we trust. <laughs> this this is our government. Um, so for me, I th I found Boris on the COVID stuff complete bundling, complete mess. But has that been done for something bigger? I would. <laughs> See, I'm trying to stay clear. I can only put my personal opinion on this. I'm finding it very convenient that Pfizer are coming forward with a solution at the moment or a testing solution at the same time as Dominic Cummings is exiting the arena. Now, it, where we are in the polls, should we say, um, COVID looks like it's going to be pushed in one direction and Brexit looks like it's going to be a no deal going in one direction because it's obviously got not a lot of time left to run for 2020. So my personal view, it may be my work is done here um, and an exit is coming. Now, the funny thing is, I remember speaking to Peter when Boris got elected because um, he changed his view from being sort of anti-Boris to pro-Boris. And to be honest, I, I hate people that swing politics. You know, if you support somebody for a reason or change your view, at least have a solid reason why. Um, but I said to him, because he asked me about Boris, I said, give him six months. And the fact is he's had more than six months, but the COVID's delayed anything realistic. Um, because it's pretty much hit the economy hard, kept the country running slowly, and the rest of the, pl the um, countries on the planet. And at the same time, we don't seem to be having the equivalent of the Black Plague, or something else that was a population destroyer. It just seems weak. But I I don't know I don't know if the politicians got too far and then didn't know couldn't retract it I don't know what goes through their heads, or it's something much bigger the paydays coming for some some people um, like I said it's not long now um, but my personal view I get the feeling a lot of this is orchestrated I do get the feeling it's very manipulated and what I do find absolutely a uh, joke is that um, now they're wanting to roll this Pfizer thing out you've got the UK government talking about fake news and how these media networks are putting out fake news about not trusting the vaccine sorry is this the same fake news like the NHS bus is this the same fake news that is often used by all governments and media groups to suit an agenda. Um, I don't get it. If anybody's been spreading fake stuff, I would have to say there's been enough evidence this year to say some of these stats on a regular basis pushed out have been incorrect. Isn't that fake news or is it okay because you retract it after you've done what you wanted? Like a second lockdown and then you're finding out that the three three phase approach was actually working you de needed enough time to actually test it before you go oh no it's not working or maybe it's the fact that the r rating that is pushed out depending on your use and how you manipulate the stats um it's below one or above one depending which way where you want it and then at the same time you've got people going trust me this is the for me i gave up on the government a long time ago with trust um, I think this year they've, done, they've been so proactive. I think they've done more damage than anybody in previous years about trusting the government. Now we'll move on to Trump. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, a few people asked me about my thoughts on Trump. Was he robbed on the election? Whatever. Do you know, one of the things I have is I don't have the facts. You know, this is the thing on the Trump election. 
I really don't know what goes on. I don't know. It doesn't does or doesn't go on there. Um, I've seen stuff in the Philippines. I think the UK half the time is people can't be bothered to vote because they you get, there's this thing called democracy. Um, democracy means you have to work, vote for one of the two parties in most of these countries. You go, I'll oh, vote for somebody else. And you say, like, okay, I'll vote for Joe Bloggs. They won't have any say or do anything in Parliament um, because that's how democracy works. It's the power of the mass. The mass in the UK is conservatory or Labour. America is Republicans or Democrats. And they swing left and right. A bit like yin and yang, backwards and forwards. And the political agenda just goes straight up the middle. Um, because everybody feels they're getting something. But in reality, nobody's getting anything. It's, uh, it's a peculiar one. So, do I think Trump was robbed of his election? I think even if he was... The truth coming to light will not prevent Biden getting in. That's the reality. They'll suppress media or whatever. In my personal opinion, media will get suppressed, hidden, delayed, and do whatever they can to take as long as possible to stop him getting in. Uh, stop uh, Trump contesting it. Now, do I think Trump's a good leader or a bad leader? He's not my leader. And that's it. Beyond that, I have to deal with, well, to be fair, I prefer, I'd rather have the Spanish king any day um, compared to Boris. Um, so for me, I don't really get too dragged into this stuff anymore. I used to get frustrated and, you know, how could they do that? Because they're all doing it. They're all looking at where they can pull votes. So one day they're your friend, the other the next day you're the enemy because if um your numbers are lower than your opposition they'll swing the other way that's politics um but i do think democracy is a failed state in my personal view i do think it's it's a one horse pony it's the one that goes straight up the middle while everything goes back left right left right it steers straight up the middle um but that's life that's life um, I don't think you could have a utopia. I don't think there is one size fits all because one person's um, heaven is another person's nightmare. Um, you know, it's like a lot of the socialist stuff would do my head in, you know, where people think, oh, I shouldn't have to work. It's like, well, no, but it's all to do with self-worth. It's about doing something yourself, achieving something, being part of something. It's not literally just about turning up. It's about contributing, being part of something. Um, so even from that, there's a, there may even be enough comments on there to argue just on that alone um, because people have completely different perspectives. Um... I may do a live stream next week. Um, I haven't done one for ages. And I've got a new Mac, so I might put that to test. Um, I've got to get it just right in the the daylight here because um, it's quite a small place I'm in at the UK at the minute. Um, but maybe we can have a bit of a discussion. Obviously, yeah, just keep it to facts is the key thing. Um, somebody else was asking me about the Philippines and when am I going back we might be going back next year once the dust settles my kids are a bit older now so it'll be a bit more um, entertaining you know it's a reach an age where it's a bit more curious go back and see the grandmother um, meet their cousins and stuff although they sort of grew up to get together obviously they've been away for a few years now so going back now be a massive change um but yeah maybe next year banked enough money this year because obviously we had all this stuff planned got money set aside for buying a house all this stuff and then covid hit and everything's just 
sat on his backside now. But anyway, here's to next year. Right. Take care.